Hi guys, it's uh, Tim from Crowdlays, and we're back again this week. And uh, what we're going to do is is try and deal with this little bit of a toilet paper shortage here in Australia. Right, guys. Uh, so you heard about the little toilet paper shortage. So what I'm going to do is today's we're making up a a little bit of a um, a little how-to on to fix this toilet paper shortage. All we'll do is we'll head over here onto our screen and we'll open up a little program called OpenSCAD. So what this um, OpenSCAD does is it's a coding way of making SCL files. So you just download this here if you haven't already got it and this is what we're going to work with today. So we'll close that down, we'll open OpenSCAD. And we'll make a new file. And this is what OpenSCAD looks like. So what we can do is up in this area up here, we can start typing out commands. So we can do stuff like um, just doing different shapes. We can just do a uh, cube, the bracket, and we just specify a size. So we'll just say 34, do bracket. And when you press this button here, there's like a preview. So you just press that and it doesn't work. So I think we need to add that on the end of it. So there you go. And that makes a cube. It's as easy as that. So what we're going to do to help with this toilet paper shortage, we're going to make up a program that's going to be called, uh, we'll start off with difference. So what difference does is uh, it makes the difference of one item to another. So if you make a cube and then a difference with another cube, it'll actually minus that cube from the original one or whatever it is that you want to do it through. So you do difference and we'll just go uh, bracket, oops, bracket, bracket, and we need this one. And then uh, we'll do cylinder, C, and in our cylinder, we're gonna make that to be, just say 100 mil by a diameter of 120. Because what we're looking at is the basically the size of our little toilet roll here. So it's 100 mil across and a diameter of 120 mil is what we're looking at. And then we're just going to do true because what this does is says to, for the center of it to be true. So it'll make the center. Um, so rather than doing it coming from this point here moving out, it'll actually be from the origin point from right from the center. And then the next one is going to be uh, dollars FN equals 100. So all that does is just um, it ups the resolution. So the resolution normally on a circle, it would have been all jagged edges. And then uh, once you just do that to a, like to a definition of 100, that's going to smooth those edges out a little bit more. So then we just finish off with the closing brackets. And we need that one. And then now, the difference, so there's the one cylinder and the difference that we're going to take the other cylinder out is going to be C cylinder and we'll just do this one here. We're going to make it a little bit bigger than 100. Um, that way it sticks out just past it so you don't end up with any um, uh, marks where it doesn't quite come out and has little defects. So just do 105 and we'll just do diameter equals around 35. Just just to make this inside diameter in here. Um, and then we'll just do true and uh, dollars FN equals 100. And we'll just do that one. And we'll close this off like that. I don't know why that made the extra one up there, but this will do. For some reason, that's made an extra bit, but that's all good. And then now we're going to uh, make a little flat. Okay, we'll show you what we've got so far. So we just press on that. Yeah, I thought there'd be something going on here. Ah, bracket. That's what we're missing. There we go. And do that. And zoom back out. I'm just scrolling the mouse wheel. 
and that makes that so that should have made the difference of one cylinder to the other and it didn't what have I done wrong up here cylinder cylinder Closes that off. And it didn't do it. Ah, capital C. There we go. Don't use capitals. And there it goes. It makes a little hole in just there. So now we're going to do another one called translate. And oh, trans late and we're just going to do bracket and do these ones to do the dimensions so we just go 58 across um, 0 0 oops and do that one and that bracket so that way what we're doing is we're moving by the XYZ axis we're moving it across by the um, the X axis then we're not moving and we're not moving. So these ones are going to stay centered, but the this one here is going to move across. And then I'm going to do cube. Oh, I'm using capitals for some reason. Don't use capitals. Cube. And we're going to do the little dimensions. So it's going to be, we'll make it about 2 mil wide by 100 mil, but 100 mil. And there. So once we do this one, it makes a little flap. And there we go. We've got our nice little toilet roll. So if we just um, have a click, oh, it so it's got a little, so there's that discrepancy there. So that really should have fixed that. Um, unless I can minus this true out to not center it. Oh, move over a bit. There we go. Then we'll try that one. And that fixed it. So there you go. So now, a little toilet paper. So we can 3D print this one. So what we do is we press on STL and we'll make the STL file of it. And we'll just call this one uh, paper roll and save that then we'll close this one off um, we won't worry about saving the SCAD file off of it we'll just we already got the STL that's all we need and now we just open this up in Cura we send this over to our 3D printer So while this is loading, it's a um, it's a bit of a shame with all this uh, coronavirus stuff that uh, it's it's already uh, pretty affecting a lot of people. But um, yeah, we just need to make sure that people don't go too crazy in the shops and buying too many rolls of toilet paper. It's a little bit odd, but here we go. It's loading up. So what we'll do now is we just a uh, load this. Oh, we can just do it this way, press it on there, and we'll lay this paper roll into there. And that is life size, but we don't want to make it that big because that's a little bit too big for us. So we'll just scale it down and we'll make this around 30 mil high. And we press enter, a little mini version. There we go. So, and there's our little mini version of the toilet paper. And now we're going to just make our, oh yeah, that's probably right, right settings there. So that one, that one, we don't want any of them. And that'll do. So we'll just slice that off and we'll send it off to the printer and we'll be back shortly.
Okay, now we're back from the printer and here it is here. And there's our little toilet paper roll next to our life-size version. So we just put that out and there you go. That's how we solve our problem over here with the toilet paper roll. Just a little instructional video on how to use OpenSCAD and um, just making up little 3D items just nice and quick and easy. Uh, but yeah, but make sure that you please, please subscribe and um, if you'd like to comment or even ask any questions on how to use OpenSCAD and how to make STL files like that, um, just pop them down in the, in the description and um, or just pop them down into the comments and um, what we'll do is um, if you find any other videos that you, you like us better make, make sure you please comment down there below as well. Um, so hit that uh, notification bell to watch any more videos that we make soon and catch us later. Thank you.